Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to new Illustrator logo design tutorial and today I'll show you how to make this type of symmetrical hexagon logo and the letter in that hexagon. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Going to the file at first and taking new options. From here, taking the 2000-2000 pixel that is an artboard and giving the name hexa logo and here CMYK color for the printing purpose and in the create pattern you'll get an artboard which is really blank and then going to the line tool from here and turning off the actually fill color turning off and stroke 2pt is good for me and drawing a line by pressing shift and hold it and drawing the line like that and after that press and hold the shift and option button and drag it you'll get a copy of this you press ctrl D 12th line you should make so just count it out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so we should delete this one after that select those things and making it bigger and make it group and just making it into middle after that right press and going to the transform and the rotate options from here i'll make this one minus 60 degree rotation and make it copy and again select this one going to the transform and rotation and plus 60 degree now and copy this one and now see or you can just go into the transform options and rotation and make it 90 degree and make it copy so you're getting this type of uh, hexagon from here uh, here is the hexagon and now we'll make the hexagon logo according to this so the letter was s a b so we'll make this one select all the steps making it like that and shift m for the shape builders tool and from here take the black color and here at first we'll make the s letter so be careful when you are making this one just because of uh, when you are doing that uh, it could be mistaken and uh, that is if you are first time i will suggest you to do this one again and again from here from here and from here this one is is at first we'll select the paths and after that we'll do finishing lines and other steps yeah that's fine now time to polishing these things uh, be careful when you are polishing that just because of uh, unnecessary area could uh, select and uh, if the unnecessary area will select uh, it won't be the symmetrical just because of uh, it's the symmetrical so in this portion you will have to select this one not uh, the other one so be careful when you're doing the selection I'll go fast and forward to do that just because of it will take a couple of minutes. So we are pretty much done and uh, let's double check if some area would uh, lift. So after that uh, we want to select and delete the lines. Oh here is the tool which is the magic one to select that and select the line once and delete all the stuffs at a time after that select the here and turn off the stroke and then we'll give the border over there so going to the polygonal tool and select once and uh, six for the hexagon and making this one 200 and hit okay making this one rotation by pressing shift and hold it and it will be rotate and then making this one middle of the artboard and now making it bigger then turn off the fill color give the stroke thickness like 40 pt or i think 60 is good okay fine it could be more bigger yeah that's good and going to the object and expand this one now this one is no longer stroke this one is a subject and you can give any kind of color uh, gradient over there select all the steps if you want here and going to the gradient over there select the gradient like this making it 90 degree okay 
and select any kind of color it could be like this and it could be like this so you can use any kind of color which is really good and uh, match with that and you can write down something over there or you can give the shadow so how to give the shadow going to the ellipse tool drawing ellipse like that changing the gradient from here this one and making it to circular give this one black over here and black over there and then just select this one and stretch that after stretching that just place over there and over from here making that like okay you are getting nice thing and logo properly so this one is the ai file you can do anything with that ai file you can go print out and you can make it jpeg png and uh, you can provide your client if you want to provide your client for the uh, like uh, feedback go to the file and going to the save as options from here you can save this one into pdf and save it out and save pdf just because of um, in your client um, uh, some of the people doesn't have the uh, ai which is the illustrator uh, and if you provide the pdf format universally anyone can open it up this one is the technique to provide uh, work to your client for the feedback so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video i am asmr signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye